So in this tutorial we're going to look at solving quadratic equations using the quadratic formula and I hope you recognize this thing here that is the quadratic formula okay and this one here is a general quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero a b and c are just numbers and you put them in the formula on the right which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and yes GCSE students have to remember that now don't forget the plus or minus that's very important because it gives us two answers as we would expect from a quadratic and this thing underneath the square root which is called the discriminant b squared minus 4ac is very important here and in other contexts so be aware of that now you could just try and put all of the numbers straight into your calculator and I've seen a lot of people make mistakes doing that especially with minus signs so we're going to be a bit more methodical first thing I'm going to ask you to do is to write down a B and C that's a very simple thing to do just read them off your equation and then we're going to work out the discriminant which I've called D here but it's B squared minus 4ac and then we are going to write down the quadratic formula but we're going to put the number we've just found the discriminant under the square root instead of the big mess there and once we've done that we can reach for our calculator and you can see I've got mine ready on the left hand side there so let's have a go at this question down here solve the equation 3x squared minus 4x minus 1 equals 0 giving our answers to two decimal places so plenty of minus signs here to be uh, aware of first thing then a is the coefficient the number in front of x squared so that's this 3 here so we just write down 3 b is the number in front of the x which is minus 4 don't forget the minus sign and c is the number at the end which is minus 1 so far so good and now in an intelligent way we're going to work out d the discriminant b squared minus 4ac well now i'm squaring minus 4 whatever you do don't type minus 4 squared into your calculator because you may well get the wrong answer because the calculator will do minus 4 squared which is minus 16 whereas we know that minus 4 times minus 4 is 16 so do that in your head if you can minus times a minus is a plus and so on and then we carry on minus 4 times a which is 3 times c which is minus 1 and I'm also going to do as much of this in my head as I possibly can so if I, I've got my 16 there and if I look at this I've got minus 4 times 3 which is minus 12 times minus 1 and multiplying by minus 1 changes the sign so I've got 16 plus 12 which is 28 okay so that's d now i'm going to write down the formula which is x equals minus b and again being intelligent about this b is minus 4 so minus b is plus 4 uh, so here we go 4 plus or minus the square root of 28 all over 2a and i could write 2 times 3 because a is 3 but actually I'm going to write 6 and now I'm going to put that simplified version in my calculator and I hope your calculator looks something like this one over here if it does all well and good if not you need to spend a bit of time looking at yours and we're going to use templates look under the option key on the left there there is a fraction template press that and I get well a fraction template so I'm now going to do 4 now I can't on my calculator do plus or minus so I'm going to do it twice and I'm going to do the plus bit first so for plus square root template is next to the fraction one so square root 28 and then I need to get down to the bottom so I use the down arrow key uh, down cursor key if you like and type in six or two times three if you've left it like that a quick check to make sure that is what I've got on the right hand side of my equation it is and I can press equals now depending on what mode your calculator is in it won't give it to two decimal places it'll give it 
in third form. That root 7 is a third. But the button just above the delete button, S to D, turns it from that form into a decimal form. And there it is. And so we can see that X is equal to, well, 1.548 something. Look at the third decimal place, 8. And so we round up the second one. So that's 1.55. And now I need to do the calculation again for the other bit of the plus or minus, for the minus. But I don't need to start again. I can just use my arrow keys. If I take the left one, that gets me back into the calculation I've just done. And navigating around until I'm just to the right of the plus, I can press delete and put a minus in. And that now will give me the other answer. Again, in third form, S to D button, and I get um, X equals minus 0. Point, well, it's 215. 5 is bigger than or equal to 5, and so we round up the second decimal place. Please do use this method, because if you put all those minus signs into a calculator, it's incredibly easy to make a mistake.